All in all, best part of the whole ceremony, it was short. Perhaps for you, as you ducked out early. The others are probably just getting started. The drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm. Not so fond of Toussaint after all, are we? Oh, this place is like a strong wine, Geralt. Good in small sips. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I am a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? No, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire after all. Regis! Damn it, where'd you go? Regis! Say, they called you a traitor. Alas, we've a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we've another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying... Out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I've an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm, super. Green bouquet. Firm, defined beginning. Then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home. On the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. 
Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which of course brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. What's that smell? You look good. Come. Don't just stand there. I want a hug. What did you bring? A Garkin from Angren. I slew it. All by my lonesome. That why you left Carrera so suddenly? Had no idea where you'd gone. Your note was puzzling. Don't try to find me. Threw me for a loop. That was silly. It's just that I felt stifled in your shadow. I'd have suffocated had I stayed. So when I read that notice, the contract, when I saw Angren, I knew I had to do it. Alone. Without my nanny. I'm not your nanny. I believe in you. <laughs> like my new house? The house is lovely. But it could use a bit of work. Yeah, got plans for it, don't worry. Want to go outside? Could show you the grounds. Oh. 
Ah, oh, it's lovely here. I could stay forever. What's stopping you? Actually, not a thing. I slew a Garkin, collected my bounty. I believe I'm owed some respite. Indeed you do, mademoiselle, as my major domo would say. <laughs> You've a butler? A steward. Name's Barnabas Basil. BB for short, though I don't know if he likes it. He's the one let you in. I'll ask him to bring in some fruit, a beverage. You can spend the rest of the day lying about. Ah, oh, nothing would make me happier. Being a witcher anything like you imagined? Geralt, I didn't have to imagine anything. Remember, before we parted, we walked a good stretch of the path together. Journeyman and master, though, not the same thing. I'm still a long way from mastering anything, but I am trying. Anyway, I did learn from the best. Just passed on what worked for me, or at least tried to. I was thinking of Eskel and Lambert. <laughs> So, no regrets? Choice you made? Not at all. I'm doing what I ever wanted to do. Being who I wanted to be. I believe that's one definition of happiness. Encountered the most charming aspect of being a witcher yet? Which aspect is that? The hatred, disgust, that strange blend of admiration, fear, and contempt. Hmm. They set their hounds on me in one village. In another, they forbade me from taking a drink from their well. Other than that, it's been all right. No one's tried to cheat me out of my reward so far. I'd hoped they'd treat a woman differently. Geralt, when they treat a woman differently in this world, it hardly ever means better. Quite the opposite. Angrin, how'd it go? Arcanes can be pretty tough opponents. That's why I had to lure this one to a place both spacious and empty, where it would have nowhere to hide. I found an abandoned crypt far from any town or village. Good choice. Always best to avoid additional casualties, so your foe had nowhere to hide. But the bastard was still damn quick, I bet. <laughs> Not as quick as I am. My greater worry was its strength. I was far outclassed there. But a dose of black blood did the trick. We fought a while, I feigned a mistimed dodge and let it drink. The rest was easy. See you later, Siri. Take care of yourself. So you've taken a liking to this place. <sighs> I could stay right here forever. <laughs> 